In the previous lesson, what we did is we took media from other sources and embedded it onto our pages, which really brought it to life even more. But what I want to do now in this lesson is to go ahead and add some additional functionality to my pages all by using Dreamweaver. So uh, the page I'm going to deal with is going to be this menu HTML page. Uh, and again, if you've been following along, you should have all of these files. Uh, if you're just joining us, feel free to go to the Lessons folder and take these files in the Lesson 13 folder and copy them over. All right, again, in this menu HTML page is the one I want to deal with. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Dreamweaver. And in the Files panel right down here, I'll double click on the menu HTML page. So there does happen to be an SWF file at the top, which plays it's just a little animation. We have a video here as well. And then right down here, we have the menu. And this gets to be quite a lengthy page. And personally, I'm not crazy about how long it is. And what I want to do is to put each, uh, each category into its own little tab. Okay, So I'm going to have multiple. Uh, tabs that are all sort of running horizontally, all stacked on top of each other uh, for the menu items. So I don't have all of this content to scroll through. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use what is called Spry. Now, Spry is just uh, Adobe Dreamweaver's version of uh, interactivity uh, using other technologies such as JavaScript and some XML. So. Again, it's not important to me. That what's important to me is how to use these features and uh, the differences in how they work compared to uh, HTML code. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put my cursor before this antipasti word, and I'm going to hit Return just to add a space, because right here, this is where I'm going to add a spry accordion widget. OK, so I'm going to go to Window, and I'm going to go to that first item, Insert. And that just opens up this Insert panel. OK, so I'll expand that down. And I actually already have Spry selected. But if you are in any one of these other areas, just go ahead and select Spry. And again, this is additional functionality, adds sort of more robust interactivity to my page. So I encourage you to check out these different options. There's plenty of sort of validation uh, options in here for forms. But sort of near the bottom, we have the ability to add a spry menu bar, tabbed panels, accordion, a collapsible panel, quite a few things. But in this case, I'm going to add a spry accordion. So I'll just click spry accordion. And once you click on it, it will add that accordion to wherever your cursor is. And that's why I had my cursor right below the video. It says Spry Accordion. This is the widget, if you will, that I will be using. And it defaults to two tabs. It has uh, this tab, Label 1, and then Label 2. And just so you get a vision for how this works, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and preview it in a browser. And I'm going to preview it in Safari. It does say I need to save this page, so I'll save it. And then it also says that Dreamweaver added these two additional files that I just need to be aware of that are now going to appear in my Files panel. It added this Spry Accordion CSS file, which is interesting, because CSS, as we learned in previous lessons, is visual content. So I should be able to change the visual content. But really, uh, most of the work is done by this second file. Nonetheless, I'll select OK. There's my animation. Scroll down beneath that video, and here's the accordion tab. So if I click on label two, it'll bring up that content, label one, and you start to get an idea of how this is going to work. So in this lesson, I'm going to go ahead and take all this content and move it into these various tabs. All right, I'll close that file. Let's go back into Dreamweaver, and I'm going to start with this antipasti. I'm going to select this word. And what I can do is cut it, edit, cut. And I'm going to paste it over label one. So with that selected, I can do an edit, paste. OK, so that tab is now antipasti. 
For content one, again, I don't really need that, so I can delete that word, content one, and I can take all of this content right here, and I could cut it and paste it, or maybe what I could do is just click and drag it up. So again, with it selected, I can just click and drag it and move it on in there. And there's the appetizer menu, if you will. All right, now how the heck do we get to label two? You know, we know what label two needs to be is it's going to be the soup. So I can, again, take this word, cut it, and paste it over this word label two like that. But how do I get to the content? Well, in order to access the content for that second tab, just go ahead and click on where it says Spry Accordion. And let's take a look right down here at the Properties panel. It says Antipasti and, and Zupe, the soup, for uh, these two tabs. And that's how I switch between them, is just by selecting them. So I can go ahead and click on, on Zupe, scroll down. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, by the way. But I'll go ahead and select this text right here, and it's a matter of moving it on in. Let's just click and drag it in. There we go. And I'll delete that word where it says content too. There we are. Again, I took a couple clicks, but I was able to delete that word. And now I have that open. And those are the two tabs I now have displayed. All right, again, I want to add additional categories because right down here, you can see I have this secondi uh, section, which is just the, the, the main course, if you will. I'll just move that up by hitting delete a couple times just to move this up and then I have the desserts. So I need to add two more tabs. So I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to select Spry Accordion. And since I need to add two new categories, two new tabs, I can just hit this plus sign. That will add that panel. This panel, label three it adds. I can click it again, and it's going to add label four. So now I can go ahead and click on label three and modify it. All right, select this word, cut it, scroll up, paste it right over label three. Looks good. I'm going to take this content. I'm just going to cut it again, edit cut, scroll up to where I need that content to be, right in here. I'll select that word and paste it in. So far, so good. And this is the last section, so it's the same process. And really, you can add as, as many tabs as you want. And we'll take this content. And again, what's nice about this is I can always add sort of more to this, to this menu, and my page doesn't change in length. So I'll cut this. And at this point, I'm just going to hit Delete a couple times just to get rid of this white space at the bottom. And again, right here in Content 4, I'll do an Edit, Paste, and that looks pretty darn good. All right, so everything, everything looks good. I can you know, check out uh, each one of these tabs. I can always click on that eyeball, and that will open up that panel. But let's go ahead and see what this looks like in a browser. So File, Preview in Browser. I'm going to preview it back in Safari. It's going to ask me to save it. I'll scroll down. And it defaults to this section, this first section, this antipasti. If I want to go to soup, I'll click on that. And notice how everything turned blue because I actually clicked on it and that activates this panel, this accordion panel. But as I click on each tab, it will go ahead and expand out that content. But this is much easier to digest, if you will. Uh, when it comes to seeing what the menu is. But I'm running into this issue where I'm not, I'm not crazy about this color. This blue really isn't uh, you know, working with my theme here. So I'm going to go ahead and change that blue to an orange. So I'll close that browser. I'll go back into Dreamweaver. And like that first note said, when I saved my page and when I actually previewed it in a browser, what happened is uh, it referenced this CSS file. It actually said, hey, you know what? It's making this CSS file that it's putting in your folder. So let's take a look. I'm going to minimize that Insert panel, and I'm going to go ahead and expand out that CSS Styles panel. Kind of expand this out some. 
And if it's not open, just go to Window CSS Styles. I'll minimize that CSS that I made and even this embedded style. But there's the Spry Accordion that was added automatically as soon as I added the Accordion widget. So I can come down in here and start to take a look at these different CSS rules. Just by selecting them, I'm able to see right down in here the various properties that are added. So it, it is that blue that I want to change. So I'm going to go ahead and select Accordion Focused Accordion Panel Tab, this blue right here. So select that. And then let's just change that background color. If you click on that blue square, you can go ahead and change it to sort of that uh, darker orange. All right. So that looks pretty good. Let's go down one more. That next CSS rule, the accordion focused. So when you roll over that bar, it actually changes it to this brighter blue, in which case we want to change that color to a brighter orange. That's kind of more like a gold color. But I'll select that color. And those are the only two changes I want to make. I really encourage you to check out all of these various properties and all of these rules to really match whatever site you're dealing with, because it is quite flexible when it comes to the visual properties of this accordion widget or any CSS uh, file that has been added. So again, the last step is to go ahead and preview it back in Safari. We'll ask to save the page. Here we are. I'll scroll down. And again, as soon as I activate it, as soon as I click on it, and I will have to refresh this page real fast, but I, I hit the refresh button, I'll click on it, and you can see that these are the colors that are changed. Antipasti actually is open by default, and I can click through this other content as well. And what I love about Spry is I don't have to write any code. It's really just a matter of selecting it from the Insert menu from the Spry section. You can drop it onto any page that you want to. And again, a quick lesson, you can add as many tabs as you want. But I'd say it's good to go. I can go ahead and uh, move on to the next lesson, which is going to be really exciting as well, because it's where I get into testing and troubleshooting this site as well, just to make sure it's nice and solid. So join me for the next lesson.